Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to use Repeater Review in Xamarin Forms applications. Repeater Review is a UI control that can display multiple views inside a stack layout. It can solve some of the problems that might occur with a list view because in the list view, for example, we have some cases where it doesn't behave as expected. For example, let's imagine when we have a list view inside a scroll view or we do have two list views inside the same page. Then in those cases, the list view might um, stop scrolling while the parent scroll view is the one which is uh, scrolling or vice versa. So repeater view is not implemented inside the official Xamarin Forms package. For that, we have multiple third party implementations that we can use. I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP, and in this video, I show you how to get the repeater view control and include it in a sample application. Here I have Visual Studio and I have created a new Xamarin Forms application by going to File, a New Project, and from here I have selected Cross Platform and Cross Platform App. Then I have uh, checked the .NET standard uh, checkbox to create a .NET standard project ins instead of a PCL. But you can also go and uh, choose the PCL project. From here, I have added previously before starting this video to files. I have changed the main page and I have added the main view model. So the main view model here is our view model. It have two properties, employees and students. Then inside the constructor, we fill those uh, two properties with some sample data. Then we do have a command that we want to invoke from our uh, page. Now we want to display those employees and students inside our main page. For that, here we do the binding context to our main view. And then in this page, we do have a scroll view, stack layout, and inside this stack layout, we display a label, then we display two uh, list views. So as we said here, maybe those uh, two list views will scroll, but not the uh, parent uh, scroll view. For that, here we'll go and replace the list view with the repeater view. To do that, we need the repeater view. So if I uh, type here repeater view, here, um, it is not recognized because repeater view is not included in the Xamarin Forms package. It's a third party implementation and we have lots of implementations there. Here I'll choose an implementation that I have uh, picked and here it's in my GitHub project and this you can find it in this uh, URL. Then from here you can find also the uh, specific implementation for that uh, repeater view. So if you follow this um, this path right here, you will find the implementation of the repeater view. So I'll take that implementation and then use it inside my project. So here I'll add a new class and inside the Xamarin Forms project, I call it repeater view and from here I'll use uh, code snippets to add the implementation for my uh, repeater view. So here if we take a look at the repeater view we can see that it inherits from a stack layout because at the end it is a stack layout that will uh, display the views inside of it. So we have two properties or two bindable properties, item template and item source. With item source, it gets the data that we want to show it. It's like the item source inside the list view. It also has item template, which we can use in order to specify a template uh, implemented in another file, for example. So because it inherits from stack layout, so we can specify a spacing. So we can say here spacing equals zero or whatever value you choose. Then we have the implementation 
and it implements also the um, items changed or notifi to notify the repeat review whenever we have a new items to be shown inside the repeater. So if we change the item source, then the repeat review will be refreshed. Now let's see how to use this repeater view from our main page. So I'll go to the main page and from here now I'll go and use this repeater view. Here I'm using the sharper so it's suggested to me to add the namespace which uh, exists here local. It's the um, repeater view or repeater demo which is the namespace specified uh, right here. So with that now I'll change my list view to use the local repeater view instead and here repeater view doesn't use the has uneven rows because that's specific only to a list view so this is only the change the only change we need in order to use the repeater view so it have we can reuse the same item template because repeater view have an item a template defined it so if we check the result in uh, iOS for example so here we see our repeater view uh, which displays all the list of uh, employees inside the repeater view or inside uh, st the same stack layout to be able to click on one of the views inside the repeater view we can use the gesture recognizers for that here we can go to the grid and add gesture recognizers we choose here the tab gesture recognizer and from there we can access either the command or also we can choose the uh, tapped event we'll choose the tapped event here and the code behind right here we can do the following view model. we can access our main view model then we can invoke the select student command but that command as we see here takes a parameter of type string which will be the selected student or selected um, employee we can take that parameter from this line of code here so we can access the selected uh, view or the tapped view then we access the binding context and take the name of that uh, student from there so now if we put a breakpoint right here then start the application and click on one of the uh, items on the repeat review let's choose this one here and you see here the breakpoint gets hit right here to say this command was invoked successfully i hope this video was helpful for you and thank you